guys welcome back to the youtube channel or welcome if you're new here for today's video i wanted to do a little festive one because halloween is literally right around the corner and so i decided to make a video where i give you guys some ideas of things that you can be this halloween specifically these are all things that you might already have in your closet and then you just need a couple accessories for or things that you can buy but like you're gonna be able to use again after halloween and i thought this was a cool video idea just because i do not like having to spend hundreds of dollars on an outfit that i'm just never gonna wear again i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and without further ado let's get right into it all right so first up we have velma from scooby-doo all you're gonna need is a red skirt mine's from forever 21 and any bright orange top mine's from shein and then you just gotta pair that up with her bright orange tights i got these from the dollar store they were literally one dollar and they match perfectly with the sweater and some red heels i got these from a thrift store they were four dollars am i ever gonna wear these again probably not but at least we're saving the bank of course we cannot forget her iconic black frame glasses and mine are from shein they were like four dollars or something like that if you guys already have glasses you can just do that and then you might also need a wig if your hair does not look like hers thankfully mine is brown and so i could probably get away with just going like this and bonus points if you have is could we do stuffed animal from your ex-boyfriend but if you don't then that's okay <laughs> in honor of the new season of money heist that just came out you guys can be part of the money heist crew all you're gonna need is some red pants i got these at a local thrift store but i have seen similar ones online that i would try to find a link for you guys down below and then for the top to pray basically just wear any black top throughout all the seasons so you can wear something like this where it's just like a crop t-shirt or you can have a tank top or just something more spicy if you're feeling up to it and your age allows and then i would pair that up with any black boots or black shoes that you have and of course in order for people to know who you are you're gonna need your mask so i found this one on amazon i will link it down below for you guys so that it completes the look and then in terms of like accessories to put this together i ended up going to the dollar store and i bought these little fake guns and i feel like it's just gonna bring the whole look together so when i was planning this video squid game was not out yet but after watching squid game the costume is literally identical so you could probably pull off this outfit you would just need like the top matching part of this and then you can get their like respectable mask whatever like the triangle or the square or whatever and that could be like a bonus like halloween costume for you guys if you're feeling up to that Okay, so third up, for my third costume idea, we have a fairy. I personally decided to go with a purple fairy. And I found this beautiful matching set from Shein. It looks like this, giving very, like, fairy-type vibes. Obviously, this might be something that you'll be able to wear after Halloween as well, if it's, like, kind of, like, your style. And then I have a matching purple wig that will go with this. And then for the accessories, I have these wings that I got from the dollar store. I'm pretty sure they were literally $1. And you can also spray paint them the color of whatever color fairy you're trying to be. And then on Shein, I found these glasses that literally match so well. Look how freaking cool it's literally the same like color scheme and everything look at this literally obsessed and then i will probably wear that with heels or something like that just because it's like a very girly type of outfit so okay so the next idea that i have for you guys is a pirate obviously that is such a classic thing to be for halloween but a lot of people have not been doing it recently so i just wanted to recreate it and throw it in there because i thought it would be cool okay so what you're gonna need for this is any loose white top just like this one i particularly love this one because it has these kind of sleeves that give off pirate vibes i don't know and then i also have matching style skirt where it's just like loose white like that and then you would put these together on top of that i would put a corset i have this one right here it's just like a simple black one you might have some of these at home or you can get some cheap ones online and just put that right over it now as for accessories you're gonna need the pirate hat you can probably get this at a dollar store or a walmart or something like that but this is gonna really bring the outfit together and then of course you need your sword and this package also comes with an eye patch this was like a dollar fifty or something like that and then also you can get something like this this says that it's the choker i was honestly debating it putting it around my thigh i thought that would be kind of spicy 
And in preparation of the video, I also bought this chain. This is from Shein, but it just goes around your waist. And I feel like pirate bitches always have that. So I thought it would bring the whole fit together. Okay, so our next costume is probably not a very popular one. But it is Poison Ivy. I honestly wasn't even thinking about doing this costume until I realized I had this dress that I have just not worn in forever. I was debating donating it when I was cleaning my closet. And then my sister goes, wait, you could be Poison Ivy for Halloween. So basically, you're going to need any green dress. I honestly think this is perfect just because, like, look at the shape. I don't know. It was, like, made to be a Halloween costume, I swear. And then she, of course, has her green tights. I got this from a dollar store as well. It was, like, two dollars but it's the same shade and it goes together and then ended up buying this pack of like fake leaves because she just has like little leaves everywhere in her hair and on her tights and stuff like that so i'm probably just gonna diy this and like hot glue gun them on or something like that and then of course she has the red hair i do not have red hair so i had to get a wig for that but it kind of looks like this and it brings the whole look together and then lastly for shoes, I don't have shoes this color, but I went thrift shopping and I came across these so I decided to buy them because they're the exact same color. So I figured they would go together, but you definitely don't need that. Alright, so coming closer to the end now, my next costume idea for you guys is a cowgirl. Obviously, you're gonna need a little cowgirl hat. I got this one from Dollar Store again. I wanted it to be like not a traditional old-fashioned type of cowgirl and more modern more sexy more you know spicy cowgirl so i ended up uh wanting to go with leather on leather so i have these leather shorts right here and this leather top that i thought they would go very well together so i didn't really want to spend 40 dollars to get like a french style jacket ended up getting this black jacket and then i cropped it myself as you can see it's definitely not even but it's fine and then of course you need the fringe so what i did for that is i ended up getting a a three dollar scarf from a thrift store and i removed the layer of the fringe and then i safety pinned it to different parts of the jacket so now it looks like this and whenever halloween is over i can just remove the fringe and i can just like wear this out and it's like a really cute cropped denim jacket so the bandana you could try to match your bandana either to the hat or to the rest of the outfit i just wanted to go like a black and black and black with the red hat as like a pop of color and then i'm probably gonna wear this with like a red lipstick or something like that so it like blends together very well and then i cannot find proper cowboy boots but i found these ones and i thought they might be close enough i don't know i wasn't rushed to make this video so that when you guys watch it i want it to be posted so that when you guys watch it you have time to actually go look for these things or make them so okay and then lastly this is probably just like a lazy type costume i wasn't even gonna include it in the video but then i remember that i have a long leather jacket and i thought i could dress up as the matrix obviously it's just like an all black outfit if you have black pants and a black shirt you can put a long leather jacket on top of it and call it a day also he does have the iconic square long glasses so i do happen to have these i literally never really wear them uh out anyways but they are perfect for this video if you do have leather pants you should definitely wear those instead it's just like a little easy outfit if you're like watching this super last minute and you need ideas okay so those were the seven ideas that i had for you guys for halloween costumes i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not i post videos on here very often I post a lot of vlogs lifestyle fashion type things and i would love to have you join the family and comment down below what you're being for halloween or what your favorite idea for halloween costume was follow all my socials down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye aren't you glad to meet me i think you should i mean i really think you should yeah. oh,